Samurai Bringer is a roguelike. Hack and slash. It's not a little bit of shooty shooty every once in a while. Uh, it is a heavily pixelated uh, game where it is very difficult to stream this. So unfortunately, I did try to stream it, but uh, you know, it doesn't really look too good with uh, with the effects that they have on everything. Now, that being said, YouTube has a uh, has a much better handling of uh, of these bit rates, uh, thankfully. So you guys can at least experience what it looks like to play. It's not a bad looking game. It's just the compression artifact that make it looks makes it look terrible on stream, uh, which is a shame because streaming is typically where you know, a lot of these games get exposure. And so, that being said, uh, the game itself is 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 pretty fun. It's a simple like you get in, you just hack and slash, uh, you and, and all that, and, and and it's it's a relatively simple like gameplay loop. Uh, the catch is how much insane customization you have to your character's build, right? It's not it's not just it's not just uh, 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 the a weapon that you're holding, or the um, uh, or the character class you're choosing, it it gets pretty uh, pretty detailed. I'm gonna show you right now here, but we're not gonna we're not gonna dwell on it just yet. This is the action builder, and this is what I'm talking about. So I've already customized this because it takes a while, but I'm gonna walk through because this is the this is the reason why you'd buy this game um, is because of these customization options. So when I first started, uh, and you, by default, I think your jump is like over here on X or something. I don't know, some other button that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, and so uh, I was gonna rebind the keys. And then when I was going through and exploring this, I was like, oh wait, I don't have to rebind the keys. All I have to do is just, you know, change all of this and move things around, move this to this key. Okay, cool. So now this is gonna be, this is gonna have uh, a step and then it's gonna have a reverse slice and then a slice. And the B button's not gonna be this. And so if I back out, I'll show you. If I hit X, it's gonna dash first and then attack, see? So you can build your own combos, and then within each step of the combo, you can add effects or modifiers. So exploring this again, we open this up, we can see I have a list of things that I've collected through gameplay. Um, and you can see it's slash down, and then step, and then defense break, and then guidance. So guidance will uh, aim at the nearest enemy. Uh, defense break will obviously break down defenses. Uh, step is a dash, and then slash down. So it doesn't matter which order these are in, it pretty much plays it out. Uh, you don't have to put them in any kind of correct order. It puts them down and just applies them all per attack. Uh, if we go to the next ability here, you can see reverse slice, expand, makes the weapon bigger. Uh, some of there allows you to uh, attack more uh, more enemies with your hit or something. Um, and then guidance again, we already know what that is. And then slice, expand, some of there, and then wave. So uh, notice I have slice four. When you stack abilities, right? Like let's say for example over here with bow, uh, if I go and I reduce this down to one and then I come back out here and I fire off my bow, we get one arrow, blop, okay. <laughs> it drops a little poison thing because I have poison listed on here, right? Uh, and then if I go over here and I wanna add, I could go and add, do, 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 do. that's about like add to that. You have a maximum, you see skill info here on the right hand side, just to the right of the bow here. Uh, you could see that the, uh, the SP uh, has a maximum of eight. Now, I think all of these things can be expanded as you, uh, actually I know for a fact, all of these uh, uh, um, stats and everything can be expanded and limits and health and mana and, mana and all that stuff can be expanded as you play the game, uh, upwards of apparently like thousands of SP or something insane and a thousand plus health or something. Um, and so you can build, I mean, that just allows you more space to build stuff. So anyway, so notice that now I have four. If I remove the poison here, uh, let me see, we're going to reduce, remove that and I'll add another, another bow. We should now get five shots out of this, right? So we go back and then we get five shots. We no longer have the poison, so it doesn't, it's not weighed down. It doesn't fall down and leave a poison pit or anything. Now we just have a straight up, just bam. So, so, so many customization options. Um, let's go ahead and see this. This is an area. Okay, let's go ahead and kill these guys. Yep. These little hot dog looking things. I'm not entirely sure what these guys are supposed to be, but you just smack them down and then you get uh, access to... Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Is there another guy here somewhere? Let's rotate this camera around. Pretty interesting um, camera operation. I kind of wish that it was zoomed out just a smidge, just a smidge. I feel a little claustrophobic playing this. Uh, you can go overhead view like this. I don't know if there's a way, there's no There's no real um, documentation to really explain uh, what each control element does. If I hit pause here and I go to options, uh, you can see there's there's not a whole lot here. It's just, you know, volume control, all that good stuff. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, in terms of like what, how you can assign certain, uh, certain, uh, um, um, 
oh gosh, how you can assign your your skills and then how uh, any modification of the camera and everything, like all that stuff is basically done except for, or gone, except for you know, being able to rotate the camera and then going overhead view, which again, that part's not even explained anywhere. So uh, <laughs> there's probably some documentation written somewhere, like in the forums or something to kind of give you more explanation of things you could do. Maybe there is a way to zoom out, I'm not quite sure. So we're gonna go there to slash all these guys up. Now I do have, my third attack is pretty SP heavy. So notice I have 52 there and I'm an upper left corner. One, two, and then three. Uh, it goes pretty much all my SP. Um, <laughs> so I have to be careful because once you lose your SP, then you're uh, you're kind of stuck for a moment. Uh, basically in a daze. So those little scrolls I'm picking up, those add up. Oh gosh, whoa, whoa this guy's got some kind of electricity attack. Oh, let's go in. I have like a, don't, 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 oh no, I don't, hold on a second. Every character I have to up, up, uh, change this stuff. Oh, jump. I do have eight jumps. Why can I not multi-jump? Oh, I guess I jump higher. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, another character that I was playing, uh, or another suit of armor that gives me special skills, uh, gave me the ability to multi-jump. This one, it looks like it just jumped really high, which is fine. <laughs> So this guy is, I, I don't know if it's necessarily like an elite samurai or something, but uh, I feel like every other time I defeat, you know, somebody like this, an elite, uh, I end up getting their armor back at uh, at my home base. And I can dress up as them and cosplay as them and come out here and, and customize my build set and everything and just go ham. Okay, okay, let's be careful here. I don't want to daze myself. I'm just going to kill this guy. Can you just be still? Hit him with some arrows. Guard, guard, guard. Now, I could guard too, just by using my right thumbstick to rotate the camera here, and, and get a little bit, a little bit of guard. I don't know sure exactly how it's supposed to work, but it seems to just, it seems to be effective. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> it's not really an active guard. It's just kind of whenever I'm looking at the character, and I think that's probably what it is when I'm looking at the character here, uh, which is why I put guidance on basically everything. Okay, there's a lot of dudes here, and these are all named guys. Yeah, these guys no problem, but the named guys, those pro they're, those are problems. It's gonna be a hard run here, I think. Oh, she turned around. Nice. Let's see if we can just beat this guy down here. There you go. Okay, let's be careful. Watch ourselves. What do we pick up there? Grab that. We got a key. Nope. Keys for opening chests. Although I've only seen one chest so far. <laughs> Game has pretty solid uh, um, a chiptune soundtrack, although I do feel like I feel like the chiptune is just a little out of place here. Uh, it, it doesn't necessarily feel like a chiptune game. It's sure there's a pixel filter over everything, but I I don't know something about it just doesn't really feel like something I'd, I'd be rocking some chiptunes to. Okay, let me get up here and finish this dude. Get out of here. Get out of here, boy. I'm gonna slap you with this. It reminds me of there was uh, what was that Android Android uh, Assault Cactus or something? <laughs> I, I believe that was the name. Uh, Android Assault Cactus. Yeah, it's like a top-down shooter uh, or isometric top-down shooter roguelike something. Oh, it was a roguelike actually. Um, anyways, yeah, it kind of had this same look and feel except for it was all pew pew, lots of bullets and everything, a little bit of a bullet hell. And this game kind of has that same feel, and I don't recall that having a chip tuny soundtrack. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! This guy's got all kinds of attacks. Whoa, 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 ouch, pain, 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 whoa, 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 god damn, oh, god damn, what the hell? All right, well, I just dropped all those things. <laughs> all right, so, well, hey, we're going back to the beginning. Oh, man, this sucks, because I didn't save my, wait, we can I do it real quick? Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. All right, so here's the downside to this, right? I didn't save this. You could, you could like, save sets, I believe. Here's my, my main, my main plane character. Uh, and if I go over here and pick up this, um, Pick up this uh, this suit again. Oh, this is the other suit that I had. Let's go and pick this one up. There we go. I had a little bit more luck with this one, but this one also did not save my my action set, my action uh, build. Let me see. Slice. Yeah, this is all the default stuff. Notice that jump is over here and on B again. Weird. Uh, yeah, this is a pain. So now I got to start over. I just I just built everything. I just built all the damn shit. <laughs> it just took it from me. Uh, let's see, pick up. Let's go grab this. Let me see. And then yeah, look, all of my all of my actions are reset. See, oh, man, it's been like five minutes building all that stuff. <sighs> well, let's go take the other one out for a spin, huh? I wasn't really feeling this one, anyways. Or maybe it was just a ship builds. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna grab this. Give me a second to go ahead and clean up. 
All right, so it doesn't look like there is a way to save these. I guess you just build it as you go, which is a little bit of a huge turnoff, actually. I thought for sure that you could save your uh, your build in the gear builder here, because uh, I had an inventory over on the left-hand side, and I wonder if that's just like you build it and then you throw it over there. Um, let me see if I if I uh, seriously select. Let me see, and then skills. If I take this, I although moving things around, I ended up with now two weapons, which is kind of cool. So I don't know how that plays out. Let me see. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we could take. We could do that. We could do that. Let's go and take this for a spin and see. But um, yeah, it looks like it looks like I can't save my settings. Uh, so like your builds, uh, which means every time you die, you have to do that again. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, if that if that's true, which it looks like it is, I don't see any options here. And there's not a whole lot of options to really sift through. Then I guess that's uh, that's GG for me. Like I'm not gonna I'm not you know bother if I have to reset everything every time. Although maybe the, I think the the actual runs maybe should last a little bit longer because you can save uh, mid game. Um, and come back later if you want to, but that's just not really my thing. So that's upsetting. That's a little upsetting. Um, although I will say, Robo, Robo and Clunkers, uh, you know, I appreciate. This is definitely, this is definitely a me game. It's just, uh, you know, probably needs a little bit more uh, if I'm going to be playing this a little bit more regularly, unless I can figure out how to save stuff. Uh, I'll go ahead and slap these guys. These hot dog looking things. So, whoop! Get a slap here. And then are you in the air? Yes, you are. And then we advance. Here we go. Here we go. Oh man, I thought for sure you could you could exchange these things out. Anyways, oh, uh, Orochi, Ora, okay, cool. You're gonna fight one of the Orochis, which is good. So now, whoa! I almost beat this guy once. Almost beat this guy once. Completely different build, though. Oh, gotta be careful, my, yeah, my SP. I have a very SP hungry, um, whoa, build, it looks like. Let me see. One, two, three. wow, wow, I'm just getting wrecked here. Okay, let me go back away here. Let's see if I can't get some distance so I can, uh, make some changes. Yeah, I notice it doesn't actually pause. <laughs> it doesn't really pause, so... Let's say slice, slice, or thrust. Okay, let's do this. Let's see. Let's get rid of the thrust here. Um, let's try to keep it simple. Keep our SP in check. And then actually what we'll do is... Let me see. Defense break, wave, uh, guidance. Let's... Uh, let me see. Expand. Let's get rid of... Ex no, no. Let's leave that there. What do I got? I got three more. Let's go and stack a few more slices on top of it. I believe slices will give you... Um, yeah, you get a little bit more bang for your buck here, uh, per swing. Let me just test on this guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, see that's good, that's good. That's good, not too, not too, uh, uh SP hungry either. Let's go find this boss here, there he is. Mm-hmm, what's up, what's up, what's up? I wish there was a way to lock on, like to hit a button and then be able to lock on the enemy. What's his move here, okay. Nice, oh good knockback there too. Gotta be careful, oh, 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 oh. Oh, you know what? Uh, something else I noticed too. Your dash, if you stab it, uh, st uh, stab it. If you if you uh, stack it like this, it actually does. Yeah, there you go. It uses a whole lot of SP. So my jump should be good. Should be a multi jump. One, two. Oh, oh, how strange! How strange! Huh? I guess not. I was able to double jump before or triple jump. I wonder if I have to stack them together. Oh, you know what? I bet I have to put them in, in order here. Let me try this. Let's see, jump. Mm. You know, it it, it 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 kind of makes sense now why it's so hard to um to consistently like test things and, and to learn if you're constantly resetting everything. There we go. Now I have a triple jump. There we go. Triple jump achieved. Oh god. I'm trying to maintain this. Jesus. Look at it. Stay looking at him so I could not get backstabbed. Oh. There we go. Block. Block. Guard. Guard. That attack is strong. Unfortunately, it just it sends them far. <laughs> oh, you know what? No. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Good. Nice, 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 nice. Let me see if I can finish this guy off here. Come on, so close, so close. Throw this around here. Let me see what top down looks like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Mhm. Mm whoa. Oh my gosh! Oh. Okay, so ease up, ease up, get her SP back, get her SP back. Guard seems to be doing really well. Hit him a couple of these. Guard, guard, of course. Uh huh, uh huh. Get him while he's attacking. There we go, there we go! Look at that! Oh, oh man! Oh, it wasn't even the final form! 
<laughs> right, let's see. Okay, oh no no. Let's rotate this around so I can actually see the boss before I die. Second day start. Okay, yep. Yeah, things are progressively harder. It's kind of a, kind of a risk of rain thing, I think. Okay, lots of baddies. Okay, whiff. Okay, all these guys gotta go. Guard. Ten. Those guys take a lot of hits. How am I supposed to dodge those guys coming out of the ground? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna try to slap him. Uh, yeah, well, there's a boss though, man. I just finally found a boss. So cool. <laughs> Oh man, but see, here's the thing now. Now now I'm just like, okay, well do I have to rebuild my, my whole set? Oh man, that's GG. Um, yeah, that's a killer for me. I thought for sure you could when I started recording this, and now that I'm looking at it, it's like, nope, doesn't look like it's the case. Um, so you come around here, there's other things I want to show you here before I go ahead and sign out, because I'm not going to do another run. <laughs> I'm not going to do another run. Uh, if you look at this, you see uh, you have uh, Virtuoso. I have unlocked this through gameplay, and if you click on it, you get a little boost. Um, there you go, and then there's probably more down here too. Let's see, you gotta scroll through. It's not very really good at telling you when there's stuff. Okay, there you go. And so now it says SP increase from four by four to 56. So you see your SP is scaling pretty significantly as you go, which is gonna allow you to do more attacks and all that stuff. Um, and then what you do is you go and you, you, uh, you pick up a new suit and then you jump in. You don't have to pick up a suit, I guess. You can just go just naked and then, uh, you know, see what you can see if you can't uh, survive just as is. But yeah, look, let me see action builder. Um, nope, nothing. There is, there is, there's got to be a way to do it because look, like this is uh, no skills. Uh, yeah, how strange. I can't, yeah, I can't move it from here. I don't know why you can't uh, make adjustments here in this window. Uh, but maybe there is a way to do it here. But again, there's not a really a whole lot of documentation. So, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Let me go and check out over here. Just to see, just so we could see for sure that uh, that my uh, that my skills <laughs> have been wiped. I'm really I'm really disappointed because uh, I did I did spend a good like five ten minutes kind of testing and just make sure everything was good and then hit record and then you die and then it's like okay we'll start all over. <laughs> Way to waste all that fucking time. Uh, gear builder again. Yeah, so Susanna, that's your 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 basic character I think. Is he flame? Yeah. So I can't make any changes in here. I don't know why I can't make any changes in here. Anyways, well, uh, I'm not gonna be playing this anymore. So that's it. I I appreciate it again, Clunkers and and Robo. That was just suggesting that it was a mic game and and the totally right it would be. But uh, you know these kinds of uh, quality of life things I just can't get over. But it's nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So uh, you know it's got pretty good ratings. It's got pretty good ratings on uh, on Steam. So if it's something that you might find a fancy, you might tickle your fancy, or if they add a way to save templates, then uh, you know, we'll hop back in and we'll maybe try it again. But until then, that's it. My name is Mike B. A. K. Phony. Games called Samurai Bringer. Hope you guys have a good one. Goodbye.